Hello YouTube, this is Morgan Airspeed Prime here with my next Avatar news update video. Uh, quite a bit to cover here, there's a lot of like separate topics, not a ton of them are particularly like huge, but we'll get through them. So first of all, just uh, confirmation, uh, Braving the Elements, the official Avatar podcast, will be getting a season 2. Um, I thought this was pretty obvious, I think it's popular enough that it's going to get its full run. Like, it's a podcast, so I doubt it's too much, like, work, money, effort to make it happen, kind of, uh, week to week. So I, I, I don't, I didn't, didn't think it was ever going to get cancelled or anything like that. Um, you know, it's one of those things, I'd like to, to hope that this continues into, like, the Avatar Studio project, and maybe they can become more of, like, an official source, where, like, we maybe get a few more crew, creator, Avatar Studios interviews when they're finally in sort of like marketing mode for Avatar Studios, having an official podcast that has access to the, the team more often, I think could be very good. Right now, it feels a little bit like, you know, it's a thing that maybe should have happened like years ago, um, you know, going so slowly through the show in reviews. Um, but again, I acknowledge it, it's not really for super hardcore fans, uh, but it's fun if you do like that sort of thing. Next, uh, some new uh, best action uh, figures for, for Avatar. So we have uh, two SDCC exclusives and then an interesting four pack here. So a lot of different stuff going on here. So Sokka Warpaint version. We have Spirit Ang, both the SDCC exclusives. That's quite interesting. Um, obviously, these are just kind of maybe renders. They're not actual like proper pictures of the final product. If they get the paint and the paint looks right on the on the figure once we see an actual picture, this could look very good. Uh, otherwise, you know, it's, I think it's a it's nice enough repaint of Sokka. Um, the clear Ang, I think, is it looks nice in concept here. Uh, I with the clear figures, I always hope that they achieve the effect that they set out to do, that it looks properly clear, start to finish. The four pack is very interesting to me. It's called a four pack powers. So I guess it's like powers of the elements because you get one bender of each element. Um, the only criti criticism here, I think, is that uh, you have um, basically you have book three, book three, book three, and then book one Katara. Um, otherwise, it seems like a nice way to get most of the main cast here. Um, so that's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, just if, if you're interested in best action, that's the situation here. I haven't really seen these like listed many other places. It's mainly been, I think, European sites. But, um, you know, that's where things are at the moment. Uh, next, a couple of kind of quick things. Uh, Nickelodeon launches Nickverse Virtual World on Roblox. So the game Roblox is getting a virtual world that features Avatar, SpongeBob, and so on. Uh, so if you're inter interested in this game, you can see this all this sort of stuff including like look Ang's glider cool um it's you know again it depends on if you care about roblox or not uh, but you know interesting that you know these sort of uh, tie-ins are still happening next uh, the nick up front event happened uh, i don't think there was any avatar news uh this isn't really avatar news but could lead to something a nick music label is in the work so everyone's waiting for the soundtrack maybe once the nick music label is established we might get the soundtrack a little bit more easily but again there's not a lot to speculate about because it's not specific avatar news uh next this is kind of interesting. Uh, Colourpop, um, this has been promoted all over Avatar social media, the official channels. Uh, Colourpop have the Avatar license and are releasing a bunch of Avatar kind of themed makeup kind of products. So you can see there's a full collection and then you can get all the stuff separately if you want. Um, obviously there's there's a sense of this and you can look at this as just like, oh, it's, it's Avatar visuals just placed on makeup products with maybe colors being slightly element element themed um but if you're interested in makeup like i guess this stuff seems like interesting enough uh it doesn't seem wildly expensive but you know if you get everything i guess it's kind of expensive um so you can see they've got a lot of uh, different products here um there's the oppa compact mirror which is using like the the chibi oppa design here that's kind of interesting. You can see they use like a new image of uh, Iro there, but a lot of the other stuff does use kind of older stock imagery, which is a little bit kind of disappointing. 
but it's there for you if you are interested. Uh, Colourpop. Uh, it was interesting to see that get the sort of focus in all of this. So, um, next, uh, going off the Yang Chen book reveal from a few days ago, obviously the main book, July 19th for the initial release, I guess. But interestingly, there's two things here. There's the first listing for what seems to be the audiobook, as well as an exclusive edition of the book, both of which have a 12th of July date. So the audiobook makes sense that like they're going to do it in the first place. Not sure that it'll get released a week ahead of time because there's there's delays with the audiobook versions for sure. Um, so this might get switched to being in line with the 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 actual release of the book. But who knows? Who knows what what might happen? I enjoyed the audiobooks for the first two books, so I'm excited to see it done here as well. And I know a lot of people really um, appreciated the fact that they did audiobooks just to make the book a little bit more accessible to more people. If you don't like to read, you know, the concept of, you know, reading going in depth on a like 300 plus page book can be a little bit daunting. So the audiobook is a nice way to experience things. Um, the exclusive edition... Again, it's weird because it's like 12 copies, like it's a it's a floor display type thing. And it doesn't, in the details, cover what, like it doesn't say anything about the exclusive edition. So it's kind of unclear if this means like the book will have an exclusive edition and this is 12 copies of that. Or if the thing that's exclusive is the floor display. Um, based on the previous two books, there was exclusive editions of the Kyoshi novels. Uh, they had a few extra pieces of art. It wasn't anything too fancy, but if you like to be like kind of completionist with all the information, it was the way to go. I think there are both Barnes and Nobles exclusives, so we'll have to kind of keep an eye out for that. And I assume it will be much the same. A few extra pieces of art, but nothing overly substantial uh, based on uh, everything that's come before. Again, the fact that like 12th of July is the date for this exclusive edition, not sure what to make of that until more gets announced, um, but interesting that it's beginning to build up already. Like, Because the day, the day I, I found this, it was just the initial book, and then it seemed like they updated later on with the exclusive and updated later on again with the audiobook thing. So the stuff is still kind of rolling out. I think FCE has like acknowledged the announcement of the book, but there hasn't really been any like uh, significant extra details said about it. Um, last piece of news, uh, Netflix, uh, show a few little bits here. The basic idea is that the budget for the show seems to be 120 million for the first, uh, eight episode first season. That means about a hundred, about 15 million is the budget per episode, which is, uh, apparently like really, really big per episode. And I, I think that that makes sense. Um, now. To me, the budget doesn't mean too much other than, like, I guess they want this to be good. So behind the scenes, the high ups are putting the money into this to try and make it good. But if that money is misused, it doesn't necessarily mean it will go towards making a better show. A lot will depend more on the decisions that they make on where to, like, what scenes to do, um, what to leave out and making those right decisions. Otherwise, like, this could be a big budget kind of failure if they don't make those correct decisions. So, I think the more significant piece of news is actually eight episodes. Before this, we had the idea that it was meant to be, I think, ten. All the rumors were suggesting it was going to be ten episodes. And that made sense to a degree because it's like, okay, half the number of episodes, but you still have effectively, like, more minutes than um, the, the whole first season of uh, Avatar. Now it seems like it's more about even, I think, the way it might work out with eight hour long episodes. So, but it creates the, the problem now of book one is quite scattered. The plot is very front and back loaded with a little bit in the middle. Otherwise, most of the episodes are kind of more one offs. We're here. Next episode, we're over here. How are they going to fit a lot of these things in taking it from 20 things? that are most of them disconnected from each other into eight things. Because I can't see them doing too many episodes of this show that are, oh, the first half of the episode is we're on Kyoshi Island, but then we transition into Omashu for the second half of the episode. I I get like it's going to have to be a traveling show to a certain degree, but um, 
that doesn't tend to be the way these things work in that, you know, Kyoshi Island to Omashu, you know, it's it's still like a, a bit of a trek there. Like they just really brush brush past it uh, in the show, but they have to address that a little bit more here. Um, so how are they going to use these episodes? I, I think there's a few things that make very obvious sense. The first episode, I think, kind of feels like it writes itself. The last probably two, maybe even three episodes also probably write themselves because you have start in the Southern Water Tribe. You basically almost, you, you very accurately, I think, do the first two episodes and that probably is your opening episode. I, I don't see much of a reason to change too much there. The ending is in the Northern Water Tribe. That's obviously where it's going to be. I assume they'll do a lot of the build-up with Paku uh, and just getting us to spend some time in the Northern Water Tribe before the attack comes in and spend time on the attack and build up the whole spirit plot with Tui and La, Zhao involved, um, Zuko arriving, uh, Sokka, UA type stuff um, and build into the big finale and so on. The problem is going to be like the, the whole like middle grouping of episodes. What do they do there? Because sure, you have the the two part of Spirit Spirit World, uh, you know, part one and two. You you have the the Avatar Roku episode is the more important one of the two, but you still have to introduce the Spirit World as a concept. Um, that might be one of the episodes. Just doing those two episodes sort of uh, as one that would sort of make sense because the the Roku telling Ang what his mission is feels like a very significant moment. But other than that, like, what do you do? beyond that like do they try and incorporate southern air temple episode three into the first episode or do they flesh that out quite heavily as the second episode because my idea for that would probably be do 103 very accurately so have it be you know side by side ang's story zuko's story but also probably incorporate stuff from the storm into it because i'm guessing with eight episodes you might not have the opportunity to stop and do the storm just randomly as it did in that episode it just like randomly fish, fishing town do that whole thing in that way so if you don't have that time incorporate you know a time where you're already doing a little bit of flashback doing 103 with the time you get the more substantial flashback that way you know ang and zuko earlier on and you make 103 a big standout episode early on we know they've cast Suki as well as Suki's mother, and I think that's as well as Kyoshi. So I think that speaks to the idea that they are going to flesh out the Kyo the 104 quite heavily, uh, and it probably will be its own full episode, uh, acknowledging that Suki is going to become a main character. They might do more with her. I think the fact that her mother is a is a factor in this speaks to that. Also, them casting an actor for Kyoshi is. Uh, significant as well because it means we're probably going to do some past life stuff with Kyoshi which wasn't really done in 104 but you probably will do it here which is kind of interesting which may maybe speaks to the idea that uh, 205 from uh, book two they might not be doing it there so they might kind of just bring that sort of stuff up of while we're here on Kyoshi's island we get the little bits of what Kyoshi did right now and maybe Aang has like a partial avatar connection, but realizes he has to go to the one before him first, and that is Roku, to set up uh, that episode. The problem is going to be from there. What do you do with like Boomy? Do you do King of Omashu? Do you try and incorporate Boomy like randomly at some other point? Or do you hold off on Boomy until book two? That's going to be tough because... They, they either have to do it like out of sequence where they come back to Omashu like at a different point because I think back to back there's going to be some weird things going on here. Um, 106 again I think there's a little bit of an issue about like how do you just randomly stop an episode and just have you know Katara undercover on the ship with Haru and so on and, and have that episode happen. So I think you more have to build up the sort of Earth Kingdom rebellion, the fight against the Fire Nation, just in transition across the episodes. Um, so that's sort of like what episode sort of three, four, five are going to be is going to be quite interesting to see because like you're also going to have to do Ang learning a little bit of water bending in this as well. Uh, Sokka kind of needs an arc so like if you don't have the whole Bato stuff like 
is there a ton for soccer as you go maybe episode to episode um so like do you do you do the water bending scroll or do you just say like okay in this version of the show katara knows a little bit more about water bending than she did in the show so she can actually teach ang a little bit and still have that dynamic or or what do we do so that's that's kind of an interesting one and um, the likes of say like jet is kind of a, a significant you know minor character who gets introduced do you do that episode i don't know again it feels like so many of the book one episodes are kind of stop what you're doing and that's fine if you have a number of episodes but i can't see them doing many episodes of this show that are uh pirates first half jet second half basically two episodes into one or something like that I, I can't see them doing too many of that stuff so i think they'll have to hold back on at least some of these characters until uh later on and you know we're still early on i'm assuming they'll skip over the great divide they might highlight it as in a flying shot that like there it is uh, and do a little bit of a reference to um ember island players it's reference to it uh because I, I just again you can't stop eight episodes to do that episode and um, the storm i think they could incorporate in elsewhere because the flashbacks are the main thing like i like the sequence with the storm and what like the whole g and and zuko scene but you do need to do other stuff blue spirit i assume you will do something with the blue spirit across the season uh this might be where maybe some of the changes come in um in that like Idol. I wouldn't mind them having an episode be sort of uh, another Zhao Zuko, uh, Zhao Zuko Ang kind of thing where they do the, the Blue Spirit because it feels like that's a significant part of the sort of Ang Zuko dynamic that you do need to have. So that's kind of interesting. Fortune Teller, unfortunately, I feel like you probably have to skip it. You could probably take the main scene of like katara visits the fortune teller and just insert it somewhere randomly uh just as a quick transition scene at maybe the start of an episode or something like that uh, you don't need to spend a ton of time on that i think that little bits and pieces of like, those episodes can work um let's see you know the, then you have like yeah the bado uh and the deserter um jong jong again they could maybe wait until later on like next season to introduce or something like that um do they spend time with bato i don't know uh it, 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 this is where it gets very tricky northern air temple do you even have the time to do that it, it is kind of a big action sequence and it fits doing some air nomad stuff because you're quite close to the north at this point um but i don't know i i will say eight episodes has me just a slight bit worried that it probably means there are maybe more cuts than there maybe needs to be. Otherwise, like we could be getting a weird situation where they're trying to cram a lot into a very few number of episodes. Um, I don't know. I think a lot depends on like, do they let all the Water Tribe stuff at the end be, say, one episode, one and a half episodes, two, or not? Because if we have maybe, like, say, most of like say six episodes to do the middle of the season i think you can hit a lot of what you need to again this is where keeping an eye on the casting is going to be quite interesting just to see what happens with um who they do and do not cast um but we'll see again uh, for me like the pressure is completely off with this show if it turns out good or not uh, i'm not super invested uh because we have other more important stuff on the way but the yang chen novel with avatar studios project so this is just sort of like if it's good bonus if it's bad who cares that that that's again my my stance on this and it has been my stance on it basically since it was announced so um but i know some people like to see some of the speculation about the show so <clears throat> that's why i did it here so yeah that has been the news here um all kind of rather scattered information but what are your thoughts on what we have here? Some of the extra Yang Chen stuff with the exclusive edition, apparently, the audiobook, the Netflix kind of budget and episode count, like Avatar makeup is now out, a couple action figure bits and pieces of news. What are your thoughts on what I discussed in the video today? But uh, that's been the video. Thanks for watching and bye.